Good afternoon and welcome back to Farmer with Faith channel. Cheney Farms, Cheney Farms Estivation. Well, today has, is a little slightly different. Uh, I have my handy dandy Tamara man over He is going to be manning the, the phone, the Tamara, while I show you how to, I don't know if it's properly, but how I hook up my livestock trailer. So before I do that, let me just say thank you to all who have viewed, liked, and subscribed, and stay tuned for more. And um, because I've got soil testing to do, we have fences to build, so stay tuned for more. Hey, he's giving me, he's giving, giving me advice, you know. So anyway my my bro over here so anyway so i noticed on my analytics page a lot of you are not subscribed to my channel who are viewing my channel that is one um that is wonderful welcome the new viewers but um say that again but but, but we asked if you view and you like what you see, please smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. So so today, back to the project at hand, we're, I have already backed into the livestock trailer, to the hitch of the livestock trailer. Huh? Oh, he's fussing because my truck's muddy. Anyway, um, so so here um, is a Tamara, man. Take the phone. And, and I'll stand right here. Oh, no, yeah, let, let it mean. So, uh, once you get your tupler, drop it down, Taze. No, right here. I, there you go. There, right there. All right, once you get your tupler over top of that, you have to drop your jack to where your tupler goes right down on the, the, the deuce net ball in your truck. Once you get the dish net, once you get the tupper all the way down on your dish net ball, you need to make sure you lock your tupper and then you need to make sure that you raise your jack on your trailer to the highest possible point. And one thing I did not have on the other truck was a place to hook my safety chains, and I will show you that here in just a second. Uh, Am I doing good? Yeah, you're doing the best. <laughs> oh, so, so now that the jack is shown down there. Here, let me see. So now that the jack is raised to the possible highest possible point, you have to make sure that is locked and attached taut so that way it is fastened onto the truck and then you want to have like and then you have to um if you have a place to hook your tow chains your safety chains put that up put that up never mind i got it so i did not have those those anchor points in my old truck but i am um, but i needed them but uh yeah the, and he has a new truck yeah the, yeah my son loves my new truck so with a tupler hook the lot the safety chains locked it is now time to wait, wait, hop down what um a, a piece for the size so like pray for my duty yeah we have a family member who's not sick so so stay uh, so please be in prayer for that uh so, and then now, all we got to do is, hold on, is we have to hook up, make sure your, uh, your, we have to make sure the pigtail, pit tail, all the wires and the brakes and the lights are engaged. Now, 
We walked around and checked the tires on the trailer. Make sure they are. Huh? Don't show the yeah, don't show the mud that's in there. Yeah. Well, they're used to the they're used to the mud and everything that's in the trailer. You know, it is a livestock trailer. So uh yeah. We have to do a quick check of the tires because tomorrow we will have a load of thousand plus pound feeders. So anyway, y'all stay tuned for more. Thank you to all who have you liked and subscribed. Stay tuned for more and uh um, tell them bye, Chase. Bye. Bye.